Now this is the loft at Nassim. We are heading in to look at the three bedroom. It's on the situated on the ground floor. Perfect if you're looking for a 2,000 square feet below the $4 million quantum. Follow Property Impress on this home tour. Let's go. Ah! So welcome to the loft at Nassim Hill. This project right here is situated on the south side of Nassim Hill and we are fronting towards the Nassim Road which is just about 300 odd meters from the upcoming Thompson East Coast Line at Napier. And uh, before we talk about more, I need to show you this view first because this is, I think, one of the most fantastic view right here at the Tembusu Tower of the loft. And uh, you are situated on the ground floor unit but just have a look, come on, come in closer a little bit. This is the view that you get. So basically, it's almost like an elevated view. Beautiful in terms of privacy you're only a ground floor but not really a ground floor unit you're almost as elevated i think as level three from the pool deck so that is the pool deck you have a beautiful 25 meters lap pool you also get to see this very unique sky bridge on some of the units right there fronting towards the nasim road let me just bring out the floor plan for a key orientation here so the size of this beautiful three bedroom apartment is at 2013 square feet you get three beautiful bedrooms and three bathrooms with a front and back patio and yes this is a single loading layout that a lot of you have been hunting for especially when it comes to ground floor lovers and what do we mean by single loading is that you get this front unblocked view of the internal facing and there's technically no road noise at all because you're situated far from the road setback secondly you're also an elevated ground floor unit almost as high as level three of the apartments right here but you're considered on level one and at the back is facing towards the nasim hill and it's full-on greenery right for your back patio space so back in 99 this land plot used to be a hotel that ceased operation and then it was being developed by Capital Land to this modern minimalistic 77 unit luxury project that's sitting on top of this elevation and basically to drive home you just need to come back from Napier Road or you can come back from Tangling Road as well because this Nassim Hero is interconnecting these two major road lines that leads you either to Dempsey, Glen Eagles so in terms of locale there's no need to introduce because this is the Prime District 10 in fact for Prime District 10 Nassim address it has been the main benchmark of luxury prices ever since day one and I need to show you the layout on the interior first before we talk about more pricing analysis and why I think this ground floor 2013 square feet unit is fantastic especially if you're hunting for something that's below the four million dollars benchmark <laughs> Now let's have a look at the living room first. Now this layout is fantastic, especially if you're hunting for this kind of white width layout. And white width layout meaning that from end to end of the living room dimension, this is fantastic. You get this huge span kind of feel, especially with this three odd meter ceiling height. And the beautiful thing is that it opens up to the sky and it leads you on, giving you that kind of like a landed kind of feeling. But at the same time, you're not really sitting on the ground floor. The only part that you can feel that is the ground floor is towards the back. So let me bring it through the back first. And this, you need to have a look at this space. Oh my goodness, because this is leading you towards your back garden. So you're going to bypass your yard zone where you can put your washer come dryer. And then you have this private garden over here. And you have a private patio at the back facing towards Nassim Hill. And this is towards the north facing. So both directions is fantastic. There's no direct afternoon sun coming back. Your two bedrooms are facing towards the back as well. The patio is connected to one of your common room. And just have a look at the size of the common room. Common room sizes are huge. These two single beds for the kids. You have a side wall that you can put in more storage space. Building wardrobe is fantastic with three meters ceiling and in terms of flooring these are all beautiful long strip timber so as I head back to the living room later we'll talk more about it this is the view that you get with this huge dining space right here full on marble cladded for the flooring and in terms of its design beautifully maintained by our owners over the years and when they shifted in they also pump in renovation to maintain and upkeep the unit till today we also love the fact that there's this like huge span glass sliding panel door and uh, that does not obstruct your view but in fact it gives you that privacy yeah at the same time it's being aided by a lot of canopy and the natural landscaping that's done within the loft 
Before I head into the master, you'll notice that it's ducted aircon. And then you have an additional storage space right here that's hidden along the wall line. It's a pretty sizable storage space. There are no home shelters within, so you get an additional storage. And within your yard zone, you also get the utility room that you can double as a helper's room or you can double as your utility storage area. You also get a yard bathroom right towards the back as well. And uh, with this greeting zone right here towards the three bedrooms, this one is towards your master. I think in terms of design, beautiful fully done. Along the walk out, you have four huge panels of wardrobe space. And then towards your bathroom, you also have an additional walk-in closet right here with another four closets of wardrobe space. And then you head on towards your own ensuite with this almost like a skylight feature. So beautifully done with marble cladded on the wall as well. And then standing shower space is great. So as you come to the master, this is the space that you get. I would say that in terms of size, definitely fantastic. 2,000 square feet. You get patio space of about four to 500 square feet internal built-in is close to about 1005 and uh, three bedrooms are beautifully sized we also love the facade of every singular blocks and tower because there are green canopies draping down so that adds on to a lot of privacy and sun shade for every singular unit as well and before we head on to look at the other two bedrooms we definitely have to talk about the price behavior right here in D910 and Nassim region and what are the key reasons why a lot of people are looking for Nassim properties but not a lot of them are for sale now first thing is because because in terms of price, PSF performance, just have a look at how the new launches in terms of freehold and triple nine years uh, leasehold properties are doing at the Nassim zoning. You will find that in terms of PSF pricing, the new projects are commanding close to about $6,000 and beyond in terms of per square foot. Of course, some different projects, they will be commanding at about $4,000 plus to $5,000 plus per square foot in terms of asking PSF prices. Right across the street, there's a project that's under construction that is called 19 Nassim. That is a 99 year brand new project and is already transacting very well at the $3,000 plus per square foot benchmark. So in terms of pricing analysis for today's home tour, we want to break it down into four different asset types right here. So the very first one will be the brand new freehold triple nine years new launches right here. The second version will be the brand new 99 years projects right here. Third version will be the resale freehold. And the fourth version will be where we're sending it right now, which is the resale 99 years project like the Loft and Nassim. So in terms of price PSF, you can look at it in a way in terms of per square foot and also quantum play. And to further elastic this, we want to bring on this effect that is in conjunction with the disparity effect that we've always been talking about and that is called the tag along price movement effect. Now why is this tag along price movement effect is that when we look at this four different real estate asset type, the price movement will always be led on largely by the new launch market and usually in the uptrend market like what we have from 2020, 2021 to 2022, not only does the new launch market has an uptrend movement in terms of PSF, the resale freehold market also had that inclination to move upwards in 10 Tandem. And when this happens for these three categories, the 99's resale project also move upwards in tandem together because the tech along and the quantum effect then sets in. For example, for somebody to buy a three bidder right here on Nassim, if they're hunting for a freehold project, the only choice right now, the minimum entry price that they have is at least a six over million dollars quantum. And this doesn't stop here because to own a three bidder, you either need to have six, seven, eight, or even nine million dollars onwards for freehold projects. And if you're hunting for brand new ones, you definitely need to enter with at least 4,000 plus to 6,000 over dollars per square foot. And if you want to look at the new launches, 99s as well, we'll talk about, they're already trading at about 3,000 plus dollars per square foot at the Nassim. And if I track back towards District 9, for 99s projects, they are already trading at about 2,005 all the way to about 3,000 dollars per square foot. And then combining all this data and price movement together, when we look at the loft at Nassim, although being 99 years with this fantastic layout and fantastic facade in this development, Element. This is now forming a beautiful quantum play because you're getting something that's above 2,000 square feet, yet at the same time, you're getting something that's below the 2,000 per square foot mark. And at the same time, those are overall quantum, that is below $4 million because the asking price for this is that. So in terms of entry price, you're getting something at 1,009 plus per square foot. I think in terms of depth and distance and disparity towards the next product category that somebody might be able to get in future, they will either have to go for at least a five to $6 million onward kind of quantum or they'll have to enter with at least a $3,000 to $4,000 plus per square foot kind of entry price. So the exit plan if you don't own this property at the loft today is that in three, five or eight years time, if you want to exit, your three bedroom will still be one of the most palatable quantum that's available for the next family that wants to take over this beautiful project right here. And most importantly is that once the MRT station is up, which is only about 300 odd meters away, and there's a five minutes walk to Nappy MRT, that's going to be a beautiful connection for the entire Nassim zoning. So 
time, let me bring you to check out the rest of the space. So you have a common bathroom located right here. So similarly, standing shower, the tone is a little bit different from your master ensuite. Master ensuite has a darker tiles. Uh, this is a darker grey kind of tonality. Similarly with marble cladding wall features as well, you also have this almost like skylight kind of style. And then towards the third bedroom. So this is the third bedroom and just have a look, it's equally almost as huge as the second one but slightly smaller. But you can even put in a king bed and side table if you want. And this is also overlooking towards your back patio as well as the beautiful Nasim Hill. And speaking of which, we haven't shown you the kitchen yet. Let's go towards the kitchen. So the kitchen is over here. It's a fully enclosed kitchen, fully functional, beautiful countertop, L-shaped kind of concept, two burner system, bottom oven already done. And then this rack is right here. Fridge space dedicated over there. And of course you have this space here if you want to put in more stuff. What is it front or back? I think it just feels so good. Now meantime, I gotta bring it towards the facilities. Let's go. Oh, let's just look at this. Oh, you have this like secondary area that your kids can cycle here. And then they can just go all the way towards the end. Let me bring you towards the end because that's where the pickup drop-off area is. So that is the pickup area. That's where you, you can just pick up and drop off. And of course, the pool is beautiful. You have a dipping pool as well. Something to note is the way that the car park is constructed. So there's a basement two car park as well as the level one car park. It's, it's being blocked and, sh and shielded off by this huge 40 meters granite wall. And that's beautiful thing. So if you want to have a look at this perfect ground floor unit, this is for sale right now and give a call to our listing managers. The numbers are all right down below and uh, also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and TikTok. My name is Melvin Lim, Property Lim Brothers. I hope you like the loft at Nassim. Give us a call and we'll see you soon. Take care. So moving towards the patio one more time. This is also interconnecting towards your master. And uh, can we enter the master from here? <laughs> okay, the glass is from inside. So I'm gonna bring you in the car. Let me bring you through the, towards the master. Back from Nasim Road. Ah, and uh, you are situated on the ground floor unit, but just have a look. Come on, come in closer a little bit. I'm gonna leave Boni to bring you to explore the facility. So let's go. <laughs> 